Okay guys, here's a quick uh, shaving hack. Uh, if you have an old food steamer kicking around, or you go to Value Village, look on Kijiji, or even buy a cheap one from you know, Walmart or, or another appliance shop, um, you can steam your own towels from home. Uh, so I've got a couple towels going in there right now. I've got them mixed up with some uh, uh, Vicks. Uh, I'm a little stuffed up right now, so I figured that might help me with, uh, with that. Um, but super awesome, you can just have that hot towel experience, you don't have to buy one of those $100 uh, uh, towel steamers. Um, as long as it produces steam and can hold a few towels, you're good to go. Anyway, I'm going to continue with my shave video here and uh, uh, we'll, we'll try this out. Alright, hey guys, thanks for joining me again on SK Shaving Den. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a daily shave video. Uh, I don't really have anything too new, but um, I'm going to be shaving with uh, uh, my Razor Rock uh, 37 uh, slant head. Um, and I've also got I'm a little stuffed up today, so I'm trying out this uh, uh, Vision Shaving Soap uh, from Soap Commander. Uh, it's got mint in it. I'm hoping maybe it'll have some uh, uh, like mentholated stuff to it, maybe it'll help me clear up, maybe I'll be able to at least smell it. Uh, of course I'm going to be using my Thirsty Badger uh, shaving bowl, and then uh, I'll finish off with some uh, some Nivea here, uh, post-shave. Um, one thing I'm going to try out though here is I've got, things are warm, that cool a little bit. I've got the uh, hot towels going here, uh, they've been steaming for about about 20 minutes here, so they are hot. Just gonna let it cool a little bit. So you can see you're getting a lot of steam off of this here. You can apply this right to your face. Ideally, if you have a chair or something like that, you can just, you know, you can do a kind of a relaxation thing. I right, am getting the mix there, that's nice. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this. I don't wanna keep you here for five minutes. <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back and uh, then we'll get to shaving. Alright, I'm back. So face is prepped. I've got my uh, Kent BLK2, just a small little badger brush here. I'm going to be using that for bowl lathering today. And so we're just going to pull right off the puck. I prefer doing that over, you know, some people like to cut the soap out and put it in the, uh, in the bowl. I just always mis misjudge that. I either put too much soap in or not enough, and not enough is a pain. So, I'm just gonna pull it right from here. Keep it good. Good few swirls. There we go. That's pretty well loaded there. And then we'll add some water. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit. I don't know how thirsty this soap is. This is my first time lathering it up here, so seems doing a really good job, though. It's a good thick lather. I can definitely smell the mint. Again, I'm a little stuffed up, so I'm not sure if I can give you a good scent profile on what this is like here, but. There we go. That's water. Just that. And a few drops there. See that's that's looking up nicely there. It's got a good thick ladder. Just build it up a bit more and then we'll get shaving. Alright. A little more water. This, this soap can handle a lot of water it looks like. Which is good.
my camera fell off there. All right, we'll get back to this. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. If it does, that steamer might have loosened too much up there. That's all right. So yeah, just keep working that in. So this is a slant head. Uh, if you're not familiar with the slant head, it'll actually uh, it bends the the blade at a at an angle. So instead of being a flat blade, it's uh, it's curved, and so it's almost like a I want to say like a guillotine effect. Uh, and the idea behind that is instead of just one flat surface hitting all the the hairs at the same angle, it kind of slices through them, making it easier to cut through tough stubble and, and give you a closer shave. So I found it works really well. Pretty easy to use. You just got to be be careful with it, but it has no problem cutting through my stubble. But I don't have the coarsest stubble, so your mileage may vary as always. Razor to be better on on longer strokes as well too. Don't have to do quite as short uh, strokes. I think that's just because of that design of the of the head. two side here. So yeah, soap seems to be performing well. Decent slickness on it. Menthol, but I 
Probably not as much as I need right now. But I can feel a little bit of a face tingle from that, which is which is nice, kind of cooling. Probably really good in the uh, in the summertime. Uh, you know, it's not not like Perazzo. I mean, Perazzo Green is going to give you that that heavy dose of menthol, but this would still be nice. Okay. Um, oh no. Oh, that should be good. Excuse me. Oh, you wanna... You feel the sneeze come on, you... Definitely make sure to pull the blade. Oh. I forgot what I was even doing. Against the grain there, so going to the side. Um... Yeah, you sneeze, pull your... Your razor away, that would be a... Not a fun story to tell people. All right. Um. As much as I like against the grain around the nose area, I'm going to not do that. All right. There we go. Smooth. All right, and a little bit of bond there. All right, and we're good for another day. Yeah, I'm feeling better already. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll get some more videos up to you soon here. Uh, if you like the video, uh, hit like and, and hit subscribe. Leave comments down below if there's anything you'd like me to try. And uh, until then, stay sharp and keep shaving.